Oh, all right. Stop well, to it. Yeah. it's going to feel like two million degrees coming up here. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe not that much, but yeah, it's, it's going to feel. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was I being a little dramatic? Oh, you know. <laughs> never, <on>. never. <laughs> <laughs> In all serious no, uh, seriousness, though, friends, this is going to be some dangerous heat that we have to deal with. And if we don't deal with it properly, it could very well pose a risk to our health and perhaps even pose a risk to our life. So we do ne uh, need to take it seriously and uh, heed the precautions that uh, we're going to need to manage through these next three or four days. Uh, today, not bad at all. We're in the mid 80s across the board, well above normal, or slightly above normal for this time of year. But thankfully, the humidity took a major step back after yesterday's oppressive levels. Now, it's still muggy out there. Make no mistake about that. Yesterday, we were talking about dew points in the middle and upper 70s. Now we're in the middle and upper 60s. There are some spots in the lower 70s, farther to the west, further from the Lake Michigan shoreline, uh, where you typically would see the cooler temperatures with the wind coming in straight off of that body of water. There's not much of a breeze out there, five to eight miles per hour just about everywhere. Again, it's out of the east for now, but it will shift to the south here. Uh, starting tomorrow and that it will be uh, one of many reasons why we're going to start to ratchet up the heat and the humidity. We're going to talk about extreme humidity here Tuesday, Wednesday and again on Thursday. Three day spell of heat. Once we get past Thursday, things do look to be significantly improved. With that said, though, we have uh, some significant and important weather alerts beginning tomorrow. Excessive heat watches here in dark red, excessive heat warnings already issued for our westernmost counties in pink. It is extremely possible, if not likely, uh, that th we get upgraded to a warning within the next 24 hours. Heat indices 105 to 110. That's kind of the baseline, and I think that Wednesday and Thursday are likely going to be even hotter. Here's our heat index forecast here tomorrow. At its peak, right around 4 o'clock, we're talking about 105, 106, somewhere in that neck of the woods. As we get into Wednesday, we're going to tack on about five more degrees here. So anytime between, let's say, 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock, your heat index value is going to be around 110. Thursday, we're straight off, off the charts. We're looking probably 115, 116, 117 by estimate. We've never seen this, and as long as I've had this graphic, we've never, I've never seen it go off the charts like this. So that is just how significant a heat wave we are talking about. So during these next three days, slow down, check on the elderly, dress light, wear sunscreen, look before you lock, please drink plenty of water as well. Best suggestion, seek the air conditioning. And again, that look before you lock. I can't ex emphasize just how important that is. When we're talking about temperatures in, in the 80s, you'll see indoor temperatures in the triple digits within 20 minutes. But when you talk about a high temperature of 95, and that's about where we'll be here tomorrow, those are insanely hot temperatures and, of course, life-threatening. So please, folks, look before you lock. Max Storm Tracker, quiet. Just look at how much of the country is going to be mired in this uh, heat wave. We're not at 63 overnight tonight, perhaps the last comfy night we see for quite some time. Sunshine is basically to take us from start to finish through Tuesday, Wednesday, and again Thursday as well. Highs tomorrow, at the very, very least, the upper 80s. I think we're going to uh, top out around 94 with heat index values up to 105. 102 will be our high temperature on Wednesday and 101 on Thursday. We'll break a record on Wednesday, come awfully close to a record on Thursday. And I don't know about you guys, but never before has an 89 looked as good as it does here for Friday. That is going to be a, just a dramatic, dramatic change. And I bet, we're we gonna, I bet we're going to feel it, too. Oh, like yes. that drop, oh, no. we'll it, definitely feel that shift. It, we call it air you can wear. Mm, yes. All Steve right. will be coming off. Of yes. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> all right. Coming up in sports, our countdown to kickoff continues as week one arrives for all of the state line squads. After the break, we'll head to Dixon, where the Dukes are finding ways to work around lower than expected participation numbers.